Would you like to customize your YouTube channel feed to make it look like one of the authority channels on YouTube? Maybe you've hunted high and low like I did just to work out how I could customize my YouTube channel feed. If that's the case then you want to keep watching today's video because in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Hi I'm Chris Cole and welcome to today's video in which we're going to look into customizing our YouTube channel layout. Now this is something that I couldn't work out how to do myself for a while and I did actually have to search to find a, a good answer to this. And I really only stumbled in this myself and because of that I decided I would make a video to show you how I found the way to customise my YouTube channel feed. And I'm also going to show you how you can tweak and add different things into your channel layout and your overall YouTube channel page. So as I continue to obviously tweak and adjust at my channel, my YouTube channel, I noticed that some of the other authority channels had a different sort of homepage or channel feed layout and I actually wanted to not copy them but I wanted my feed to look similar or I wanted to be at least able to customise my channel feed. And I found that I couldn't do it or couldn't seem to work out how to do it and I've now worked out how to do this. And that's why we're including this within the video. Now, other channels or the more authority channels, when you scroll down through, rather than them having just a list of every single video and all of your sort of, what we say, your feed or your activity uh, comments and different things like that, they had different sections, they had playlists shown across, they had other videos, they were able to customise their channel feed and I went off and searched to find out how I, how I could do this because it's something that I wanted to incorporate into my channel and the channel branding. Now, to do this, it's actually quite simple once you work it out, but it took me a minute to work this out. So what you do, of course, is be signed into your account, come over onto your channel page, and you'll see here, below the banner, there's the little pencil option. Now, what I'd been doing for so long was I had been clicking into channel settings, and I couldn't see any possible way to do it but what you really need to do is click into the edit channel navigation if I now click into the edit channel navigation you'll have you'll see the top section here is the browse the browse view lets you, cu you customize the display this is what you want now I have a feeling that's maybe on by default I'm not sure but but for whatever reason mine wasn't on and what you've got to do is select enable to obviously get this enabled. Scroll to the bottom and then select save. So once you save your options you're then forwarded to this page here which gives you the different look and layout for your channel feed. It now allows you to basically customize your channel feed and you'll see here it looks completely different. You see I have videos going across and I can literally add into my channel feed what I want here. Uh, I can also move things up and down. Uh, I also need to insert a channel trailer which I'm going to make in a different video. So if you're following along with this series uh, you'll see I've developed a sort of YouTube series up to now and this channel trailer is going to come but in the following video. The first thing I've got here is the recent uploads and of course you can go into the editor at any time by clicking the pencil. Choosing the content that you want from the drop down box, choosing the type of layout that you want, either a horizontal row or a vertical list, save your options and well, obviously select done and that you, it will be saved. Another thing of course that you can do, you'll see here you can insert your playlists, uh, you can insert popular uploads and this is actually a specific playlist but um, I've sort of put it how to get more traffic to YouTube videos and it looks like a series of videos so you can insert as much as you want uh, basically what you do is you select to add a section then YouTube gives you the options of what type of content that you want and you can add in channels, recent posts, whatever you want and the layout style and then save it. Additionally what you can do is you can move things up and down within your layout to obviously prioritize things so if I was more interested in putting my popular uploads to the top, well then you click the up arrow, you see that it appears, and click it again, it now appears to the top of the feed. That's literally it. I now am able to customise my YouTube feed by enabling the option that I enabled previously, and now I can tweak and play about with this, and get my YouTube feed looking a lot more like one of the authority sort of channel feeds that I've come across, 
So moving forward, I'm obviously going to be customizing at this and tweaking at this for my own personal preference. And it's something I advise you to do with your channel. If you have a channel or you're starting to build a bit of a brand or authority into your channel, well then you want to be looking into tweaking and customizing your channel feed and this is exactly how you do it. So there you go, it's actually quite easy once you know how and it always is isn't it? But the thing is it took me such a long time to find this, I was constantly going into the wrong settings, I couldn't find where to go, but once I found out where to go uh, it all fell into place and it's really that easy. You can move things up and down, you can add in what you want, you can tweak and customize the layout and literally you can personalize your own YouTube channel. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found the tip helpful and I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Additionally, if you have any comments or any questions you'd like to ask me, please leave them in the comments area below. So that's it for today's video in the series. Thanks a lot for watching. My name's Chris Cole and I'll speak to you soon.